Hey guys, welcome back. This is pre-recorded, so when you're watching this, I will be in the hospital having my C-section, which is crazy. <laughs> um, oh my god. <laughs> Not what this video is about. Um, I wanted to take some time, kind of just sit down and go over some things that are really important to me. Um, the importance of really taking care of yourself whether you have some type of illness or not um, and kind of go over my story with you guys from the beginning um, <clears throat> and really emphasize some key points uh, things that I wish someone had told me um, things that I wish someone had uh, really kind of showed me when I was a little younger um, I did go through a lot of complications and my goal is to help others um, but I want to share, you know, the hard parts of my story as well. Um, I feel like those are important too. It's not always just, I got, I made it, I'm here, I'm great, I'm healthy, but there's been a lot of downs as well. And you know, that happened before the ups. I do want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by the company With Things. They make really awesome like monitoring devices at home, like watches, blood pressure monitors, things like that. And they did actually send me a blood pressure monitor, the BPM Connect, uh, that I get to review for you guys today. That's the company name there. And I haven't opened this yet, so we're gonna use it on camera, we're gonna open it on camera, we're gonna talk about it on camera. From what I've seen in the videos on their page, it looks really, really awesome. Uh, and it really, connects with what I wanted to speak on and something I wanted to talk about anyway. So it's kind of a perfect um, theme for this video as well. So I will le leave a discount code below for 20% off any orders of 99 or more, which this monitor is $99, so you get 20 bucks off. And I will leave an affiliate link. So if you use my link, you help me out, you do not have to use it. I will leave their regular page below as well and their Instagram and things like that. So before we get into that, I do wanna to touch on a few key points that I wanted to talk about. So the first thing, so I was diagnosed with type one diabetes when I was four and I don't remember a lot because I was young, but I do remember the day I was diagnosed, which is crazy. I remember being taken to the hospital um, in an ambulance in Poland, and I was with my mom, and I remember being admitted to the hospital. I remember pretty much my whole stay in the hospital, which I believe was a few months. Um, and I just remember, like, I had no idea what was going on, right? I just knew I didn't feel well. I was going to the bathroom a lot. Frequent urination is a big symptom of high blood sugar. I was super, super thirsty that I couldn't get enough water. Um, and yeah, I was diagnosed at the age of four in Poland. And I was in the hospital a few times after that. Um, the really, really hard time happened for me when I went into high school. I did not care. I went through like a horrible burnout phase where I did not want to take care of my diabetes. I didn't care about it. Um, nothing's gonna happen to me, you know, when you're 16, 17, 18, like, you're invincible, right? So I just didn't care. I ate whatever I wanted, I drank whatever I wanted, I gained a ton of weight. I was really unhealthy. I never checked my blood sugar. And when I say never, and I didn't have a pump back then, I just did everything manual. I mean, I never <laughs> checked my blood sugar. I kind of knew how my body felt, but the thing with blood sugars is that when you're averaging 400 for months and months and months and months and months, that starts to feel normal. So if I was at 400 right now, I would probably be vomiting. I would probably be in the hospital. Um, back then, I felt fine after a while. At first I didn't, and then after a while, my body got used to it. And um, yeah, I basically averaged A1Cs between 12 and 15 which if you know A1C is the three month average of your blood sugars. Um, I believe the average for a healthy person is like between 4.5 and 5.5. It's pretty low. Um, I was at 15 was my highest, I think 15.1, um, where my doctor saw me after that blood test and he was like, how are you not 
in a coma. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> so that really did a lot of damage in the years moving forward. So the thing with a lot of people call diabetes a silent killer. Um, you don't feel it for a while. I mean, it was years and years and years before I had any type of complications from that. Um, and I had started to take care of myself in the interim of that time in my life to the complications. I had started taking care of myself and it didn't matter. The damage was already done. So didn't check my blood sugars. I would just guesstimate my insulin. I would just have my pen and I would just say, well, this is what I think I need. And I would just take it. And looking back now, like that is so dangerous. Um, and I wouldn't really know where I was at with my levels until I went to the doctor, until I had my blood work every three to four months. Um, I was just in a really bad, bad place. And you know, when I was 22, I had my first cataract surgery. And that kind of opened my eyes a little bit, but I didn't really start to take care of myself until after my first toe amputation. That was when I really buckled down I had my pump already. The pump helped me. It saved my life. But that was a time when I really turned things around. That was 2017. <laughs> um, so I started to really care about what I was doing to my body, what this illness was doing to me. Um, and what I always, always, always hated was that back then there was no way to like see where I was at and see my levels and everything. and, and and see how I was doing between doctor's appointments. It's kind of like blindly going through, right? So I started to buy the A1C test kits at home. I started doing those. Um, I started like graphing all of my blood sugars, things like that. Um, I would put them into apps, like my blood sugars would go into apps and I would look at what, how I was doing and I would have these goals in mind. And this is kind of where, this whole idea of this blood pressure monitor too comes in is that it is so important to monitor yourself at home in between doctor's appointments because a lot of times you know like even with my kidneys I was fine 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 I go to the doctor oh your kidney function is at 38 oh last time I saw you it was at 80 so especially with things like this especially for me right now being pregnant um, preeclampsia is a pretty serious condition that luckily I do not have. Um, preeclampsia is high blood pressure in pregnancy that can cause a lot of distress to the baby and can be very, very harmful to the baby, if not cause stillbirth um, or miscarriage. So for me, um, that's huge. Just monitoring my blood sugars and everything throughout my pregnancy because I was seeing my high risk doctor once a month but so much can change in four weeks, especially if you're pregnant, your body's changing every single day. Um, so yeah, you know, when, when things reach out to me and they're like, you know, why is this important to you? And I was like, this is huge because this is like what I have become, like my life has become is just monitoring, taking care of myself every day. And then when I go to the doctor, it's more like, it's not really an update or it's not like a shock, like where am I? It's more like, okay, I'm exactly where I thought I was, but you have the paperwork in the labs to confirm what I already thought. And that is such a peace of mind, just knowing that and doing that and feeling like you're doing something to help, you know, with your health and be healthy is huge. Um, so yeah, just uh, the idea that I never had an insulin pump. I never had a CGM. I would test my blood sugar once every couple of weeks. I mean, seriously guys, I didn't care. You know, and at that point, I could test one day and be at 120 and then be like, great, my blood sugars are great. But that was like the only 120 I had in weeks. <laughs> Next blood sugar was 500, but I didn't test at that point. So I didn't know. So really just knowing is huge, 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 huge. So my message to you guys um, really that is so important to me is just take care of yourselves at home. Um, you know, if you have six months in between doctor's visits, do at-home things that can help you. If you have high blood pressure, get a blood pressure monitor. If you have diabetes, get the at-home A1C. They're very, very close. I've tested them a few times. They've been within 0 0.1, 0 0.2, um, you know, um, points. 
of each other. So very, very similar, very, very close numbers. And write things down, look at how you're trending. You know, throughout this pregnancy, I've had to write down seven blood sugars for seven times during the day, every day for the last eight months. And it really helped me to see where I was at and see like what changes needed to be done. And I would look at my sheet and I would go, oh, she's gonna definitely lower my three o'clock bolus and give me more at night. And I would email my sheet out and my dietitian would get back to me who's also a type one. And she would say exactly what I thought. And just knowing that, having that knowledge and knowing your body and knowing how you're trending, it's amazing. It really, really is. It really, really is. And it's not worth taking that time in between doctors to feel like it's time off. And then you go back to the doctor and you're all messed up. Your health is all messed up. And trust me, you're not gonna feel it right away. It'll change within you, but you're not gonna feel it right away. And that's the scary part. Um, so that's my message to you guys that I just wanted to come on here and just give a little life lesson. Um, let's get into opening this blood pressure monitor because I'm really excited to use it and show you guys um, everything on it. So this is what it looks like. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's awesome. All right. What do we got in here? I think this is, so the cool thing about this is it, it's rechargeable. So the battery lasts you about six months, um, but if you need to recharge it, you just plug it in. It's a micro USB and you just plug that baby right in, which is really, really awesome. So it's like a regular blood pressure cuff. Looks like it's very soft material. So I have a few Velcro bits here. This part opens up whatever you the size you need for your arm. Then you're going to open your app and you're going to go through just a few prompts until you get to this page. So hold the start button down, there's a little plus sign, it's going to say set up. So it's searching and then you're going to hit set up and install on the phone and hit next. Okay, so it is detected. So it did take about four or five minutes for it to um, connect. So just give it some time. You'll see that little circle going around. Um, just be patient. I'm gonna hit next. Next. And Bluetooth pairing request, we're gonna allow. All right, then you're gonna write in your email. Um, password and then consent to all three, hit continue, hit create. All right, then you're gonna punch in your first and last name, your gender, and then your birthday. Now you guys know how old I am. Hit next. All right, now you're gonna punch in your height and your weight. Um, I did put my pre-pregnancy weight. I'm currently 160 pounds, but I'm only gonna be that for another two days. <laughs> so I just put my pre-pregnancy weight all right, so now we're gonna hit Google search. Okay, so it says on the next screen, please tap all categories on and then allow. All right, so we're gonna hit done. All right, let me 
hit next. I think I have to turn this back on. Get it timed out. Perfect. All right, so it says your BPM connect is restarting. There we go. All right, let's hit done. So this is before you, relax, before you get started, relax and take five. So they want you to relax for five minutes, which I'm pretty chill, you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start her up. All right, guys, I have you at a weird angle, but I need you to see my arm. <laughs> so the instructions say, to <laughs> do your left arm and you're going to do it with the start button down so kind of like this and you want it on the inside of your arm at heart level so like right here so we're going to have that right there and that's like your inner arm I'm gonna stick that on there you want to make sure that your legs are not crossed or make sure you're sitting down that you're not talking, no one's talking to you. So you're gonna hit the button once, turn it on. The plus sign says BP, you're gonna hit it again. And you should feel it and hear it start to tighten. So just relax your arm. That got pretty tight. <laughs> All right, so we got 117 over 71 and then your blood or uh, my heartbeat is 85 so it does show your pulse as well and the awesome thing about this let's take it off is it's color coded so if you're not sure what the numbers mean or so if you're not sure what the numbers mean or what levels are good it does come up green orange and red green obviously being a good number orange being a little high and red being not good <laughs> um so that's really, really cool. So if you're like, well, I don't know, is 117 over 71 good or not? So pops of green, which means you're good. Just turned off, but you know, you get it. <laughs> That's really awesome. So let's see what the app looks like. Let's go into the app. I'm gonna refresh. There you go, it updated. We got 117 over 71, heart rate. 85. I do have another level in there because I just recorded this part and I wasn't recording. So <laughs> this is my second time doing it. <laughs> Not the whole video, just this last part. We're putting it on my arm. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really, really cool. I love this. This really makes me want to just check my blood pressure every day. And then, yeah, you can just send it to your doctor whenever if you feel like you're not doing well, your numbers are high, send it to your doctor, especially if you have um, hypertension, any kind of blood pressure problems, heart problems. This is amazing. This is really, really awesome. And like I said, with things has a bunch of different stuff. They have scales, they have blood pressure monitors, they have a different blood pressure monitor. Um, they have like a little, you know, watch, like a Fitbit type. Um, it's awesome. I really, really like this company. And you know, I know a lot of people don't like sponsored videos. Um, I do get a lot of emails from companies to do sponsor videos and I don't do them. And I truly, truly believe in taking care of yourself at home. Um, and I thought this was really, really cool and I did wanna share it with you guys. So like I said, um, coupon code is down below. Uh, with everything crazy going on, you guys gotta just take care of yourself. Your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, everything. Just go outside, go on walks, get some air. I know things are starting to open up, but still, be safe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, little story time, little heart to heart. Um, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye.